Why Calgary? Well, it ranks fourth out of 140 cities in the 2021 Global Livability Ranking for quality of life. Calgary ranked 21st out of 94 international cities in Demographia's 2023 housing affordability study. Alberns also have the highest median salary of all Canadian provinces. And since I'm comparing Alberta to all other provinces, I also want to mention we only have GST. There is no PST here. We also don't have a land transfer fee when you buy real estate, saving you thousands of dollars. The Conference Board of Canada projects Calgary to have the fastest growing economy among Canadian cities in 2023, thanks to its stable economic base, diverse economy, and well-educated workforce. Increased investment in infrastructure, technology, and innovation will help sustain this growth long-term. Calgary is also home to renowned universities and research institutions like the University of Calgary and the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology, or SATE, offering students access to cutting-edge research facilities, top tier faculty and a wide range of programs. Before you pack your bags though, watch our previous videos about challenges and opportunities when moving to Calgary, the cost of living and moving from another province, all in the description below. Now let's dive into the top five things to know before moving to Calgary. Number one, Calgary's neighborhoods. Finding the right neighborhood is crucial when moving to Calgary. The city is divided into four quadrants and 14 wards, which each of it has its unique vibe. And we'll help you navigate through these in future videos. Some popular residential areas in the city include in the Northwest, Arbor Lake, Varsity, Brentwood, Hillhurst, Houndsfield Heights, Briar Hill, University District, which by the way is a brand new community near the city center. There is the Southwest, which is the Beltline, Kelvin Grove, and Elbow Park. And for the Southeast, Lake Bonavista and Mahogany. Now these are some examples. There are other communities that might be a better fit for you and your family. Now each of those communities have their own charm. So for example, Arbor Lake is family friendly. Brentwood is close to University of Calgary. Beltline is trendy and Elbow Park is affluent. However, some areas may be less desirable, like the noisy northeast quadrant near the airport or the northern part of the southeastern quadrant with uh, a mostly industrial character. When moving to Calgary, consider housing options. Finding the perfect home. Most Calgarians own homes, but renting is also an option. Different accommodations includes houses, townhouses, condos, and even penthouses in the downtown of Calgary. Check online or work with the real estate agent to find a new home. If you want to see properties for sale, check out our home search link in the description below. Number two, transportation. Moving around the city is important and knowing the transportation saves time, money, and stress. If you're a biker, public transit user, or car enthusiast, understanding Calgary's transportation is vital. Overall, Calgary is a driving city, but Calgary has a great public transportation system with buses and two LRT lines called the C train. Tickets and passes are easy to purchase and adult fares are 360 at the time of this recording with a day pass for $11.25, $2.45 for youth or a day pass for $8.25 with kids under five years old riding for free. Riding the C train is free within the downtown core between City Hall Station and downtown West End slash Kirby station, but make sure that you have your proof of fare. So if you're switching from the bus to the C train, make sure you grab what's called a transfer from the bus driver. And get this, Calgary is a super bike friendly city. We have an exceptional outdoor pathway system that spans over a thousand kilometers of dedicated bike paths, street side bikeways, and paved multi-use bike paths in and around the city. This system is one of the best in North America. Number three, job opportunities. Calgary has a reputation for being one of Canada's economic powerhouses with the highest personal income per capita across Canada with an average of $59,907. Alberta's average weekly earnings is also higher than any other province with an average of $1,216. Calgary has the highest labor productivity of major cities across Canada with an average of 147,231. This makes it an excellent location for pursuing different careers and finding job opportunities. Luckily, Calgary has a ton of community resources and groups 
to help you network, grow, and thrive in your career. If you're on the hunt for a new job, LinkedIn Jobs and Indeed are popular job search sites in Calgary. But if you need some extra support and guidance, there are agencies that offer free services for job seekers of legal working age. These agencies can help you with everything from crafting your resume to nailing your job interview. And if you're looking to level up your skills, the government of Alberta has a complete directory of training and employment service programs. Many of these programs are completely free and can help you take your career to the next level. Networking is also in another important key to finding job opportunities in Calgary. By connecting with professionals in your field, you can open doors and find new opportunities that you may not have discovered otherwise. Now, if you have been thinking about getting into the world of real estate, our team is actually hiring. So we're always looking for great people that we can support and help grow so that it will be a win-win for both parties. So if you're interested in that, let us know in the description below. We do provide resources, training, coaching, mentorship, and all of our systems that we've built up over the last 12 months. And we also support you with our team of virtual assistants. Now back to networking, consider joining your careers professional association or finding a mentor. These connections can offer valuable advice, insight, and introductions to other professionals in your field. If you're looking for more networking tips, check out the ALIS website, link in the description. They offer an overview of networking strategies for everyone. Additionally, there are specialized programs in Calgary that can help newcomers, youth, and indigenous talent find fulfilling employment opportunities through networking and other career building resources. Key sectors. Calgary is home to a diverse range of key sectors that offer exciting career prospects. Knowing the key sectors of job opportunities in Calgary is important for anyone who's interested in finding a job in the city or starting a business. Let's dive into some of Calgary's major sectors. Number one, aerospace and logistics. This sector is all about designing and building the machines that helps us soar. With Calgary's prime location and access to major transportation routes, it has become a hub for logistics and supply chain management. If you're interested in aviation, engineering, or just want to make sure the packages get where they are going, this sector is worth exploring. Number two, agribusiness. Calgary's agricultural industry is rooted in research, technology, and innovation that support sustainable farming practices. If you're passionate about improving food production and distribution, this sector is for you. There are plenty of opportunities in everything from research to sales and marketing. Number three, creative industries. If you're a lover of arts, then this sector is for you. Calgary's creative industry sector includes visual arts, music, film, and digital media. It is an important part of the city's cultural scene and a significant economic driver. From acting to production. Film and television production has been happening in Alberta for a long time, but nothing has been as big as The Last of Us, an HBO series based on the popular video game. Calgarians were excited. Now that filming has wrapped, the economic impacts for the city and province are being tallied. The Last of Us sets in Calgary are gone. No more vines growing up the sides of buildings, no more wrecked vehicles on the streets. The sets may be gone, but the lasting impact of The Last of Us is still felt in our city. Looking into the future of film and television production in our city, while the work for Calgary Economic Development and the Film Commissioner continues. To design and technology, there's plenty to explore in this sector. Number four, energy. Calgary's energy sector is all about exploration, production, and service. It's an important part of the city's economy and offers tons of opportunities. If you're looking for a career in this sector, you can find everything from research and development to operations and marketing. And just so you know, based on the Calgary economic development, 25% of Alberta's GDP comes from natural resources. Number five, financial services. Calgary is home to numerous banks, insurance companies, and investment firms, making financial services a vital sector in the city's economy. There's plenty of job opportunities in this area, like uh, accounting, finance, and risk management. If you're good with numbers and you like staying up to date with the latest financial trends, this sector is for you. Number six, interactive digital media. Calgary's interactive digital media sector is growing fast with companies specializing in gaming, virtual reality, and animation. 
This sector offers plenty of opportunities for people interested in software development, uh, design, and technology. Number seven, life sciences. Calgary's life sciences industry focuses on biotechnology, medical devices, and pharmaceuticals. This sector is all about research and development and offers opportunities in everything from product development to regulatory affairs. Number eight, technology. If you're a tech head, then Calgary's technology sector is where you want to be. With companies specializing in software development, information technology, and telecommunications, there's tons of opportunities for people interested in coding, design, and innovation. By understanding these key sectors and the importance to Calgary's economy, you can make an informed decision about your career path and identify potential job opportunities in the city. Unemployment in Calgary. Sometimes looking for a job can be tough, but Calgary's unemployment rate was at 6.6% as of February, 2023, which is unchanged from the previous month. This means there's plenty of opportunities to find a job that suits you. But there are some industries that have recently experienced job losses, agriculture, uh, utilities, construction, trade services, education, healthcare and accommodations and food services are among them. It doesn't mean that there's still not plenty of great opportunities out there. Tech opportunities. Did you know that Calgary has the highest concentration of high tech workers in Canada? So if you're interested in tech and you want to reskill for the digital economy, Calgary is the perfect place for you. For professionals, if you're thinking about pursuing a specific profession in Alberta, you might need some certification, so check out ALIS, which is an overview of regulated professions. Some of the most common regulated professions in Alberta includes uh, engineers, accountants, lawyers, land agents, mortgage brokers, doctors, and nurses. Continuing education. The city's local post-secondary institutions offer an impressive range of micro-credentials, certificates, and continuing education opportunities. These courses are designed to be specific, flexible, and available to those who want to take on a new challenge or try a different career path. Here's a local tip for finding jobs. Calgary may be a big city, but it's easy to make connections. Networking is essential in Calgary and it can help you take advantage of the city's interconnected community. So get out there, meet people and make some new connections. It might help you land your dream job. Number four, attractions and events. Calgary is not just a moneymaker. It's packed with attractions and events for everyone. I'll dish out on the top spots and happenings you should know before moving here. Let's start with the Calgary Tower. This iconic structure is a must see attraction. You can even take an elevator up to the top floor for breathtaking views of the city and walk on the glass floor. It's a great way to get your bearings and see all of the amazing sights that Calgary has to offer. Next is the Calgary Zoo. This zoo is Canada's largest, newest, and most visited zoological park, home to over a thousand animals from 272 species. The zoo is also situated on a 120 acre site on St. George's Island along the Bow River and it's a popular family attraction. The zoo also features beautiful botanical gardens which offer a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. Next up is the Glenbow Museum. This museum is perfect for history buffs and art lovers alike. It features a large collection of historical artifacts, artwork, and even interactive exhibits that will take you on a journey through Calgary's past and present. You can easily spend an entire day there exploring the different galleries and exhibitions. If you're an adrenaline junkie, check out Wind Sports Canada Olympic Park, which is the right place for you. 15 minutes from downtown, and it is home to the Calgary Olympic Park, which was the main venue for the Olympic Ga Winter Games in 1988. Visitors can ski, snowboard, bobsled, zip line, toboggan, snow tube, and mountain bike down the slopes and the hills at Windsport in the summer. Now, let's talk about Calgary's most famous event, the Calgary Stampede. It's a 10 day rodeo held in July and dates back to the 1880s. The event was first held in 1912 and has been held every year since, except for a few years during World War I and World War II. It has become an important part of Calgary's culture and identity. Known as the greatest outdoor show on earth, the Stampede features cowboy style entertainment and exhibitions, including a parade, rodeo competitions, chuck wagon races, First Nations Village, concerts, stage shows, 
fun fairs, and agricultural shows. A visit or a tour of Stampede Park remains one of the top things to do in Calgary. And before I tell you the final attraction you should see in Calgary, here are four not well-known activities and locations in Calgary that you may want to check out. The Devonian Gardens is an indoor botanical garden located in the heart of downtown Calgary. This hidden gem is a perfect escape from the city's hustle and bustle, and visitors can enjoy the garden's lush greenery and water features all year round. The gardens feature over 500 trees, 50 varieties of plants, and plenty of walking parks and benches to sit and relax. The Inglewood Bird Sanctuary is a nature reserve located in the city southeast. The sanctuary is home to over 270 bird species, making it a popular spot for bird watching and nature lovers. Visitors can explore the sanctuary's walking trails, wetlands, and woods, and get up close and personal with some of the region's rarest bird species. Sekomi Lake is a hidden oasis located in the Bow Valley Provincial Park, just a short drive from Calgary. The lake features a man-made beach, picnic areas, and plenty of recreational activities, including swimming, canoeing, and paddle boarding. The park's scenic trails offer breathtaking views of the Rocky Mountains and the city's skyline, making it a perfect spot for a day trip or weekend getaway. And you should definitely not miss out on Calgary's farmer's market. This bustling market is open year round and features local vendors selling everything from fresh produce and meat to artisanal goods and handmade crafts. It's a great place to meet people, support local businesses, and indulge in some delicious food. Last but not least on my list was the Banff National Park and the town of Banff. Banff National Park is a picture perfect setting for a day trip from Calgary. The route from Calgary to Banff is less than 90 minutes and passes through Canmore, which is also a great place to stop for sightseeing. Lake Louise is the highlight of the visit with its turquoise waters and stunning snow-capped mountains. You can go hiking, horseback riding, skiing, snowshoeing, and ice skating, or simply relax and take in the beautiful scenery. Number five, lifestyle in Calgary. Knowing the lifestyle of a city can be one of the most important things to consider before making a move. The lifestyle in Calgary can be quite different depending on location. For example, downtown Calgary is the heart of the city and it's a bustling, fast-paced environment where most of the city's major businesses, cultural venues, and entertainment spots are located. As such, it's a popular choice for young professionals and those who want to enjoy a vibrant, urban lifestyle. Downtown residents have easy access to public transportation, making it convenient for them to get around the city. They can enjoy a range of amenities such as you know, restaurants and cafes and bars and shopping centers, all within walking distance. Living further from the inner city, on the other hand, and in the suburbs, offers a more peaceful and family-oriented lifestyle. Suburbs in Calgary are residential areas located outside of the downtown core and the inner city. These neighborhoods are ideal for families as they offer a quieter atmosphere, bigger living spaces, and access to parks and recreational activities. Suburban residents often have a backyard or a garage, making it easier for them to park their cars and store their belongings. The suburbs in Calgary also offer more affordable housing options compared to downtown, making it a more attractive uh, option for those people looking for more value. Here are five neighborhoods here in Calgary that I can give you as an example to showcase the differences in lifestyle. Number one is the Beltline. The Beltline is an inner city community in downtown Calgary and is known for its vibrant nightlife, trendy restaurants and bars. The area is also home to uh, several art galleries, uh, boutiques and specialty shops. Living in the Beltline means you're at the center of everything and you'll be enjoying the hustle and bustle of the city. This offers the best lifestyle for singles or young couples who love the energy and the convenience of going out. Number two is Kensington, also in the inner city. Kensington is a trendy upscale area located in the north part of downtown Calgary called Sunnyside. It has a unique atmosphere and blends old world charm with modern day conveniences. Now the area is known for its pedestrian friendly streets, numerous cafes, pubs and restaurants and diverse shopping options. Kensington is also a popular spot for young professionals, artists and families looking for a little bit of a quieter lifestyle compared to the downtown. Number three, Signal Hills. Signal Hill is a suburban community located in the Southwest of Calgary. 
It's a family oriented community that offers a quiet and peaceful lifestyle away from the hustle and bustle of the city. The area is home to several parks, playgrounds, and recreational areas, making it a great place for families with children. Signal Hill also has many shopping options, including grocery stores, restaurants, and retail shops. Number four, Inglewood. Inglewood is regarded as one of the oldest neighborhoods in Calgary, and it's known for its historic charm with boutiques, cafes, and restaurants. The area has a strong arts and culture scene and is home to several music venues, theaters, and galleries. Inglewood is a popular spot for artists, creatives, and those looking for a unique lifestyle. The real estate there is actually pretty cool too because you have a mix of old and new and everything in between. It's pretty cool if you just wanna take a drive in the area so you can get to see part of the historical features of Calgary and what modern day Calgary is doing in that area. Number five, Mount Royal. Mount Royal is one of the most affluent neighborhoods in Calgary and is known for its beautiful historic homes tree-lined streets and expansive green spaces. The area is home to several luxury shops, boutiques, restaurants, and it's a, a popular spot for wealthy families and professionals. If you want a detailed walkthrough of these neighborhoods, let me know in the comments below and I can visit them and share what it's like to live there. Another important factor in Calgary's lifestyle is its economic growth, which can be beneficial for job prospects. It's home to several different industries, including tech, making it an excellent place for entrepreneurs and career builders. Calgary is currently experiencing economic growth, offering more job opportunities and a thriving community. Companies like Walmart, Canadian Tire, Home Depot, and Amazon are investing billions in Alberta, boosting the region's economy. Rent and housing costs are lower compared to cities like Vancouver and Toronto. Calgary is way more affordable. For rent for a one bedroom apartment is only around $1,300 a month, and the average home price is around $648,500. So you can live the life you want without having to sacrifice everything you've got. We have a full video on the cost of living in Calgary made by my business partner at the Live Inner City Real Estate Team, Jazz, which you can check out here and in the description below. So I think Calgary has it all. It's a city that has something for everyone, whether you're into food, culture, the outdoors, or just hanging out with great people. So come check out Calgary for yourself and see what makes Calgary so special? If you have any suggestions, feel free to throw it in the comments below as I'm sure it will help others who are watching this video. My name is Felix Chan, Calgary Realtor and Mortgage Broker with Real Broker, and we'll see you in the next video.